Xamarin Studio 6.1.1 has a small issue and it's a really small issue and it's only going to affect a couple of people but I'm going to assume that if you found this video you've probably searched for the correct search query in Google to find this and that you've hit the issue yourself. It's an issue I hit, it's with storyboards and Xamarin Studio support for them. Now we always recommend that you use the integrated designer built into Xamarin Studio and Visual Studio to do your storyboard editing. It's a lovely way to create your user interfaces because you don't have to worry about actions and outlets. In Xcode you would be drawing blue lines for days and it would pop up and say is this an action or an outlet and you would be like boo what the hell is an action or an outlet? Um, we deal with that for you in our designer so I always recommend to use a Xamarin iOS designer but with 6.1.1 there's a small issue if you switch between Xcode and Xamarin Studio. Now, I tend to switch for a couple of little bits that I learned to do in Xcode and I haven't quite learned how to do them in Xamarin Studio yet. So I'm just laziness on my part has caused me to find this, this bug. But there is a workaround. So the issue is we load our storyboard and we get hit with this. And it's saying document format is too new. The version does not support the file saved in Xcode 8 format. So what we have to do is we have to tell the storyboard to not save in an Xcode 8 format because we're not going to be able to render it within Xamarin Studio. So to do that we need to load up the storyboard within Xcode. In fact we don't even have to wait for it to load. We just need to see this interface builder document opens in drop down. And we're going to select 7.x, we're going to save and close. Takes a moment to save, my hard drive is basically full. I've just received an external one to try and put some data on there to speed this beast up. So we'll save that. Now when we come back into Xamarin Studio, if we double click on the storyboard, well first of all we can see that we haven't got the error and it's looking like it's loading. Here we go. The storyboard is loaded, perfect. It will only cause you issue if you take your existing storyboards and edit them in Xcode 8. If you're using Xcode 7, then you're absolutely fine. As I say, you just need to change the drop down to point to Xcode 7 and you can then carry on editing within Xamarin Studio. So it's not a showstopper, we have workarounds. And I hear that the engineering team for iOS and the designers are fixing this. It's a work in progress, so we should have an update soon. Um, but as I say, you can just carry on working within Xamarin Studio uh, through that one 30 second change. Thanks very much. Catch you next time.